Some people with diabetes will experience hypoglycemia from time to time. This program will provide information about hypoglycemia, including what it is, who is at risk, why it may occur, signs and symptoms, and how to manage it. This program will also cover what to do in an emergency situation, which is important for family members, friends, carers, or colleagues of a person at risk of hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is commonly referred to as a hypo, or low blood glucose level. Hypoglycemia generally occurs as a direct side effect of taking insulin or certain oral diabetes medications called sulfonylureas. It occurs when the blood glucose level has dropped to 4.0 millimoles per litre or below. Everyone's blood glucose levels can fluctuate and may drop below 4 millimoles per litre on occasion. This is not considered an emergency situation as our body will release stored glucose from the liver in response to this low level. When a person with diabetes takes insulin or sulfonylureas, the medications block this normal response. This means that the person has to treat a low blood glucose level quickly to avoid the blood glucose level dropping even lower. Treatment involves consuming quick-acting carbohydrate, as explained later on. Talk to your diabetes team about your medications and risk of hypoglycemia. There are many reasons why a hypo may occur. Some of the most common events include delaying or missing a meal, unplanned or more strenuous physical activity than usual, drinking alcohol, or an imbalance of carbohydrate foods and dosage of insulin or sulfonylureas. Sometimes a hypo may occur for no reason at all. If you notice an increase in the frequency of your hypos and experience more than two hypos a week, discuss this with your diabetes team as you may require a change in your insulin or medication dosage. While symptoms of a hypo can vary from person to person, some of the most common symptoms are weakness, trembling or sweating, lightheadedness, inability to concentrate, feeling teary, tingling or numbness around the lips, heart palpitations, headache, feeling irritable, or hungry. If you feel any of these symptoms but cannot check your blood glucose level, treat as a hypo just to be safe. Some people may develop hypo unawareness, where they do not experience any signs or symptoms of a hypo. If you experience hypo unawareness, talk to your diabetes team about how you can manage this to keep you safe. If you suspect you are having a hypo, make sure you are safe. For example, if you are driving, pull over to the side of the road and remove the keys from the ignition. The first step in treatment is to have 15 grams of quick-acting carbohydrate. For example, 6 to 7 standard jelly beans, half a can of full sugar soft drink, glucose tablets equal to 15 grams, 3 teaspoons of sugar, or half a glass of fruit juice. If your next meal is more than 20 minutes away, you will need to have 15 grams of longer-acting carbohydrate. This could be one of the following. A slice of bread, a small tub of yogurt, a piece of fruit, or a glass of milk. If you are on an insulin pump, you may not require this next step. Discuss this with your diabetes team. Remember, if a hypo is not treated quickly, blood glucose levels can continue to drop leading to a severe hypo which may cause loss of coordination, slurred speech, confusion, loss of consciousness, or fitting. If a severe hypo occurs and it is not safe to eat or drink, you will need assistance to increase your blood glucose levels. If you live with another person, your doctor may provide you with a glucagon injection. The person that you live with will need to be trained to use this as it involves drawing up a dose of glucagon and giving you an injection to help increase your blood glucose levels. Glucagon is a hormone that releases stored glucose from the liver into the bloodstream. This results in a rise in blood glucose levels within 10 to 15 minutes. The hormone will work for approximately 30 minutes, which should allow you time to regain the ability to consume some carbohydrate foods or drinks to manage your hypo. Talk to your diabetes team about this injection if you are at risk of hypoglycemia and live with another person. If the person who is assisting you is not trained to give a glucagon injection, they should provide first aid. 
they should dial triple zero, ask for an ambulance and state that it is a diabetes emergency. Although anyone can seek emergency help when required, having ambulance cover can provide peace of mind and remove any financial concerns. Just remember that not all private health insurance includes ambulance cover, so it's worthwhile checking to find out if you are covered. Here are some tips to help keep you safe by preventing and managing hypos. Be prepared with hypo treatment at all times. This may involve having a hypo kit at school, at home, in your workplace, in your car and carrying treatment around with you at all times. It may be helpful to carry some form of identification that says you have diabetes. This may include a medic alert bracelet or information in your wallet. Be prepared with some extra carbohydrate containing snacks or drinks in situations where hypos may be common. For example, during exercise or when drinking alcohol. Check your blood glucose levels before you drive to make sure they are above 5 millimoles per litre. If you are driving for long periods of time, check your blood glucose levels every 2 hours to make sure they stay above 5 millimoles per litre during the trip. It is recommended that your family, friends and colleagues know what to do in an emergency. The recommendations and suggestions in this video are based on current best practice guidelines for all people with diabetes. We encourage every person with diabetes to seek input and guidance from a diabetes care team for their individual needs.